This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. Naming elements. Why is it important to name out for element IDs to have meaningful names? And an ID, an element ID, guys, let's go back to here, is if I click on any of this, oh, this is a submitted project. Let's go back to here. And here, let me click on the cookie. This is the ID of the image, right? So Y and the element would be this image. This element is this text, and here's its ID. Why is it important? Before I start talking about this, keep in mind, plagiarism is a thing, and it's terrible, and you will get caught. Um, it, I am a teacher. If you're my student, you'll definitely get caught. But teachers find this video as well. So make sure you're not plagiarizing. I just want to discuss ideas. All right. So why is it important? Well, when you are designing the next, I, I don't know, Angry Birds, and you have 19 birds on your screen, little images, you have 10 buttons because you have the sound and controls and shoot and whatever. If you were to name all of your buttons, button one, button two, button three, button four, and you know that there's a problem with the shoot button, when you go into your code, it's really confusing. Oh, what was, oh, okay, that was button seven, I think. Uh, or was it button six? Wait a minute, but wasn't button six on the other page? Oh, no, no, that, but it, that's button six on this page. No, you can only, it gets ra really confusing if you do not have clear names. It's hard to keep track of stuff and you start messing up and adding bugs and breaking things. So if you don't have meaningful names, it's difficult to understand the structure, to edit it, and to keep track of what you're doing. It's impossible to create anything big or complicated if you don't name any of the parts correctly. So all right, so what I have here and again, plagiarism, no, you'll get caught. These are just ideas. It is important for elements to have meaningful IDs because it would be impossible to keep track of all those elements without them. Yeah, you wouldn't understand what your app was doing, especially if you went back two days later for debugging. Building large apps would be difficult and any changing or debugging would be labor intensive. Yeah, it would take forever and you'd break things on accident and probably on purpose eventually you'd get so annoyed. IDs help us understand apps and that the apps we're building and we can create better programs with them. So that's the direction I would take the answer and the uh, items that I would consider. Anyways, onward.